This beautiful car was born in 1955, and this less beautiful man arrived in 1981. Between those years, a writer with a passion for horror stories ventured to Britain from distant shores. His name, Milton Sabotsky. And with a spirited team of artists, challenged even the legendary Hammer by producing classic horror films, such as The House That Dripped Blood, Dr. Terror's House of Horrors, and my personal favorite, Asylum. Those films were my companions and their stars, my personal heroes. But that was a long time ago. The cameras have ceased to roll. The lights shine no longer. And in the darkness, Hammer and Amicus crumbled. The golden era of British horror was over. When I found this abandoned car, rusty, broken, a wrecked relic of another time, there were voices who said, its time had come and gone. However, when I turn the key today, the only voice I hear is a defiant roar. <laughs> and so, I invite you to join me as we resurrect Amicus Productions. In the grip of terror, marks the first Amicus horror film in over 40 years. Just as with the classic Amicus productions, our utmost priority is exceptional writing. Our film will uphold this tradition, showcasing adaptations inspired by four classic literary works. In A Diagnosis of Death by Ambrose Beers, an oil-based portent of doom haunts a man, first in his dreams, and then... In cool air, Lovecraft's chilling tendrils of cosmological horror come alive in a freezing hospital ward that harbors a dark secret. E. F. Benson brings us our third uncanny tale, and the dead Spake. In it, Lawrence R. Harvey of the Human Centipede 2 plays an ambitious scientist who attempts a shortcut to God by building a powerful machine capable of playing the thoughts of a dead man's brain for all to hear. However, some secrets unveiled in the dark have terrifying consequences. In our Ambrose Beers tale, we observe an experiment probing the limits of the human mind, determining how much terror it can endure before succumbing to madness. Fans of Amicus Productions can rest assured that we have not forgotten the importance of the famous wraparound segment, Prepare to Meet. Mr. Amicus, in the grip of terror, explores the spine-tingling consequences of man's pursuit of forbidden knowledge, where human curiosity clashes with the supernatural, where medical advancements unravel the fabric of reality, where the boundaries of life and death blur into nightmarish dimensions. Our film is set in an anachronistic world that blends the distinctive style of 60s and 70s British horror without actually being set in the past. 
So, for example, our characters might use... Mobile phones. And... The latest in computer technology. Which helps us to create a world that is both nostalgic and familiar with a few modern twists of course can i talk about the head now no 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 they're not ready they're not ready for that our film features a cast of classically trained actors and while we haven't announced our full cast yet rest assured we have some wonderful surprises in store <laughs> You could tell them I'm in it. Well, who are you? Michael Daviot. Amicus always made one of their stories funny. Yeah, yeah. Like Dead of Night. Can we talk about the practical effects now? Still soon it! Nobody's making a Kickstarter video boasting about CGI anymore, are they? Well, that's not very nice. Laurie, uh... What?! Uh... Can I please be in the movie? Can we at least tell them about the rewards? <laughs> no need. I, I have already made a fantastic video advert. <laughs> yeah. 102, take one. Action, please. Uh, does he do anything? No, 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 no. Oh, the Abacus French Champagne it has always been celebrated for its excellence. It's a Californian champagne by Paul Masson, and it inspired by that same French excellence. It's fermented in a bottle, and like the rest of champagne, is vintage dangerous. Mm. Take three. Uh, I'm looking champagne, French champagne. <laughs> I'm back. You can pledge for our stunning Amicus Blu ray special edition, packed with hours of extras, along with our signed bundle and complete edition Blu rays. We have digital download versions as well. We also have official Amicus clothing, manufactured to the very highest standard, including official Amicus t-shirts, premium quality film crew zip hoodies, and film crew caps. And for the discerning gentlemen, polo shirts. My name's Dorian. I might be in the movie, but it's not been decided yet. We also have bundle awards which offer our backers great savings, as well as special awards that include thank you credits, which will see your name in the movie and IMDb. We also have an Amicus Returns PDF book and a credit reward that will see your name included in the acknowledgements. Our book tells the story of how we brought Amicus back and includes a production diary and script with director's comments. Not to mention high quality enamel badges and official patches that you can stitch onto pets owned by your enemies. And if you'd like the chance to perform in the film and share a scene with me, there are special rewards called Be In The Movie and Act In The Movie. Not to mention our producer credits, which will see your glorious name featured at the end of the film and on IMDb. So, the rest is now up to you. I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for any pledges, shares and support 
you can give our campaign to help it succeed. With your support, not only can we produce the first new Amicus film in 40 years, but we can do that together. And we can build a new home for Amicus. We can make film history with the resurrection of a beloved name in horror, and we can do that today. So, thank you so much for watching, and I hope to be working with you very soon. Goodbye.